Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create multiple targeted contact forms on Hover in one design with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start by creating a brand new page. However, you can add this design onto an existing page. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new. We are going to give this page a name and I'm just going to call mine targeted contact forms. Uh, click on use Divi Builder. I prefer building my sites on the front editor. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. And for this, I'm going to need a single column. Next, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to search for it and uh, select it. And in here, we're going to need a title. So I'm just going to call this get in touch. And I'm going to assign a heading two to this. So I'm going to highlight the text, click here on this drop down, and set this to heading two. Now we need to style this heading. So let's head over here to our design tab, click on heading, heading two, and we are going to start with the font weight. So here we're going to go with ultra bold, and we're also going to make it all uppercase alignment. We're going to center this. And for the text color, we're going to set this to black. So I'm going to drag this all the way down to black. And for our text size, I'm going to set this to 6VW. The letter spacing to 0.4VW. And then finally, our line height, we're going to set this at 0.8. So we need a bit of margin around this text. So let's head over here to spacing. So here I'm going to add... 2VW to the top and the bottom. So pretty much we're done with this design. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to add another section. So I'm going to click on this plus button, click on regular. Now, before we do anything here, I'm going to start by adding my background gradient. So I'm going to click here on my gear icon to access my, setting, my section settings. Click on background and then click on the second tab. I'm going to click here to add my first color. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now I'm going to add my second color. I'm going to paste it in here. And for my gradient direction, I make sure it's set to linear. And over here, we're going to set it at 110 degrees and the end position to 85 degrees. Now let's head over here to the design tab because it's time now to add our dividers. So I'm going to start with my top divider. So I'm going to click on this drop down and choose the style. And the style I'm going to go with is this one right here. Next, I'm going to add my bottom divider. And I'm also going to go with this one right here. So now that I have my shape, the next stage now is to come over here to my sizing. And I'm going to set my height here to 200 pixels. Next, I'm going to add some custom spacing. So I'm going to come over here. And for my margin bottom, I'm going to set this to 30 VW. And for my top and bottom padding, I'm going to set this to 0. In fact, let's set it as 0 VW. Now for this, we're going to need a CSS class. So we're going to come over here to the Advanced tab. CSS ID and Classes. And I'm going to set my class as Contact Section. Right, so we're done here. I'm going to continue now by adding a new row. So I'm going to click here and add a single column. And next, I'm going to go into my row settings because in here, we need to set our overflow. So I'm going to click here on advanced visibility. And for my horizontal overflow, I'm going to set this to hidden and the same with my vertical overflow. And then over here on transitions, I'm going to set this to zero. Now it's time to add all our modules onto our row. So I'm going to click this plus button and the first one here is going to be a blurb. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And over here on the title, I'm going to call this service one. I'm going to remove all the content. And I'm going to come over here to image an icon and set this to use an icon. So I can go here with um, any icon that I need to, I mean, that works with my design. So in your case, you just want to choose an icon that works with whatever website you're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and choose these headphones. And over here on the background, I'm going to add white as my background color. But for this, I'm also going to add a hover color. So I'm going to come over here on this arrow pointing up and click here on the hover tab. And then I'm just going to click here and add my color. 
Now let's head over here to the design tab and set our icon colors. So I'm gonna click here on image and icon. So I'm gonna start with my icon color here. I'm gonna set this to black. And I also need to customize the size of the icon. So I'm gonna come over here to use icon font size and set my size to 2.5 VW. Now, as you can see, we can't see the icon here because it's on a dark background. So we need to add a hover state on the icon color. So I'm gonna click here and make sure you're clicking on, you've selected hover and then choose white as your color. So now we can see it's visible. So what we're going to do now is to work on the text title. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start here with the font weight. So we're gonna set this to ultra bold, uppercase. For the alignment, it needs to be centered. And for the title color, we're gonna set this to black. And for the title text size, this is going to be 0.9 VW. So what I'm gonna do now is right now, you can see that the state we have here is the hover state on the background. So I'm just gonna go back to my background here and make sure to go back to desktop. So now you can see what it looks like. So the icon here is going to be black and my text is also going to be black. So what we're going to do next is to change this color on hover as well. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, all we need to target here is the color. So I'm gonna click on this icon, click on the hover icon and set my color here to white. So that's what's gonna, what it's gonna look like on hover. Next, let's head over here to sizing. And so what we need to do here is to set our width to 10 VW. Currently it's set to auto. And for the module alignment, we need to make sure that this is centered. Now let's go into our spacing. So what we need to do here is to add some margins and padding. So I'm gonna set my margin here at four VW for both the top and the bottom. And for the padding, I'm gonna set this to 2VW, and again, this is both for the top and the bottom. Now let's add a border. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna set my sides to 50VW. And what, what this does is it just creates a circle for our design here. Right, so we want our design here to really stand out. So to do that, we need to come to the box shadow. I'm gonna choose my first option here. And I'm going to go to my box shadow horizontal position, set this to two pixels. And then I need to go to default transform scale. So I'm gonna come over here. So all we have to do here is to change the values to 120%. In fact, you know what? Over here, we need to make sure the default state is 100%. And then on hover, that's where we need to add 120%. Great, so when you hover over it, it's just going to uh, enlarge in size. Now it's time to add our contact form. So I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna add a contact form. I'm gonna search for it and select it. Right, so first things first, we need to make these fields full width. So I'm gonna come over here, click on design, layout, and make sure this is set to full width. And then back over here, go into your email, design, layout, and also make this full width. So back over here on the fields, we're going to delete the message field and add a new field. So here, I'm just gonna give this a name. So I'm just gonna call this question one and just add two more. Okay, so I have question one, question two, and question three. Next, we need to come over here to elements and just uh, disable this show capture. So the next stage now is to go into the field settings and set our padding. So I'm gonna come over here to design fields. Then I'm gonna head over to my padding. So our fields top and bottom padding is gonna be 0.6 VW and the fields text size is going to be 0.8 VW. And now for the button settings, because as you can see here, we just have the default one. We need to go to our button option and activate custom styles for button. Right, so over here, we need to start with the button text size. So we're gonna set this to one VW change the text color to white, background color to black, make sure the size is one VW. Right, so on the text settings here, we're gonna make sure that this is set to ultra bold, all uppercase, and the border width needs to be zero. Now, let's give this button a bit of breathing space. So we're going to go to our spacing. So here, we just need to add padding of two VW, 
top and bottom, left and right. And then we're going to go to our border here and set 10 as our size for the borders. So here you can see on the field, it just says new field. So if you want to, you can actually go into each and one of these and give them titles. So you can name them specifically question one, and that will show here on the descriptions. So you can go ahead and add you know, the values of these fields. So with all this set, the next stage now is to clone these three times. So I'm gonna come over here to expand settings, click on wireframe mode, and all I need to do now is to clone these rows three times like that. So what you could do here is, now since these icons are the same, you want to go in and change these icons and also the service. So to do that, I'm just gonna click here on module settings and this can be service two and we can change our icon here. And my icon here is going to be, let's have a look. I'm just gonna go with this one here. and Save and then do that to the last one. So now if we take a look at the desktop view, this is what my icons look like. I've renamed it to service two and uh, I've also renamed the last one to service three. Now, if you want, you can actually go in and change these questions to suit whatever you want on these services. So again, doing this is quite straightforward. Just go into your uh, module settings and change these questions. So what we're going to do now is to go to our first column here, go into the settings, click on design, sizing. So here we need to add a height of 818VW. So I'm gonna add it here. And then next, we're going to add a hover height. So to do that, we need to click this arrow that's pointing up, click on the hover tab, and we are going to set this to auto, and that's what's gonna happen on hover. So what we're going to do now to save us time is to extend these settings. So I'm gonna click here on these three little dots, extend sizing styles. So to all rows throughout this page, I wanna say extend. Now to place these rows next to each other, we're going to save here and go to the page settings by clicking here on this gear icon, click on advanced, custom CSS, and we're going to paste our CSS in here. So as you can see now, these are now placed next to each other. And this CSS code can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So you can go ahead and check it out. All right, so let's test and see if this is now working. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna publish the page as well. Exit the visual builder. So when I hover over these, this should show the form like that. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.